that is Kamalil house from Kothmangalam. It is a 9000 square feet 3 floor house. So let us hear the comments. Anna, what about the landscape, exterior, form and character? It is a big house set in a very big plot. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing that strikes you is a long driveway and a massive house at the end. Uh, but they have not done much about the landscape, it is simple, they just have some palms and uh, lawn on both sides. Mm -hmm. The car porch is very grand, the ceiling, the lighting they have given us very great. Um, and uh, they have done a very good boundary wall design also. Uh, the landscape, even though uh, they have not tried, but it, it looks, on the whole, it looks very impressive, the whole, the whole house. Okay, uh, Arun, your opinion on that? It is a very big house, it has got a very long driveway like she was telling and you, you have to cover a distance to reach the house. Okay. Okay. They have a lot of area which I feel is not really utilized. Okay. Probably if the house was toned down into maybe ground plus one and then little you more spread out, out yeah. and uh, badminton court and the pool kind of stand away from the house as if they are not part of the house. Mm -hmm. So if they had included that and spread out the house, uh, uh, it would have looked much better and the imposing form would have kind of reduced and come to the scale of the uh, property. Mm -hmm. The house is not looking bad. Mm -hmm. And now coming to the interior flooring, kitchen and bathroom. Um, the main door mm -hmm. is simple and it is classy, that is very good. The courtyard, they have done a fountain there. But uh, I am just wondering if the courtyard is a bit too deep. Like uh, when you have a courtyard near the entrance and it is so deep, many people might not expect something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, people might trip and fall. So if uh, And also the fountain, if, if they had raised it little more, the, there would have been a better view mm -hmm. to it. Uh, they have a good crockery, uh, that detailing is good, very classy kitchen. Uh, then um, when you go upstairs, you see chairs all put in a line. Whenever you try to put in sofas, you should try to make it so that you we can see, yeah, face each other just like this. Uh, the beds, uh, they have used uh, very good uh, teak, uh, the designs for the beds are very good. On the whole, it is a very luxurious house. The interiors are uh, actually full, that is what mm -hmm. I think. Uh, the rooms from what I understand is not that big. So okay. the 9000 square feet is actually compressed into a little area. Instead of having a water body in the courtyard, if it was made a little more shallow mm -hmm. and then uh, if it had changed into an interactive space, it would have looked much okay. better than yeah. the water body. Mm -hmm. I do not think that is a, of any use. And they have a retractable uh, roofing for that. Mm -hmm. So uh, that can always control the rainwater from coming in. So that would have, would have been an option. The entry living area, uh, the sofa is kind of uh, feels like it is divided into a number of chairs. It mm -hmm. does not have a unit uh, feel. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that is a, a standing out thing. The mm -hmm. dining area is uh, looking very, uh, very well done. Means it is so full mm -hmm. that uh, it, it feels uh, really full. Uh, kitchen is again done in wood. Uh, they have done it, done it well. I am not saying it is bad. It's, they have done it really well. Mm -hmm. uh, they have spent a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I think they should have channeled the budget into some more space okay. uh, so that this can be really appreciated. Uh, they had this co uh, courtyard come and ending up in another uh, sitting area and the dining area. Mm -hmm. So uh, probably a connection from that to the pool would have been made interesting. And the pool could have been used much better if it was in the, in, uh, indoors. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have to say.